at the archaeological excavation site, a large explosion occurs, creating two light beams. One of those beams travels and locates Yifen Lin. He is a comic book artist about to release his first work. Suddenly the beam of light appears in Yifen's room and sucks him in. As it turns out, the beam of light is a portal that transports him elsewhere. Yifen is surprised to be in a new world and believes he is hallucinating due to his lack of sleep. He looks at his new outfit and hair, reaching a stupidly funny conclusion. He has traveled through time. Not long after, he is attacked by a minotaur, a three-star demon, but he still thinks he is in a game. He is about to be defeated, but he is rescued by a warrior, Liu Hang. While the warrior battles the minotaur, Yifen runs away as he does not know what is happening. However, the invisible sword appears in his hand. Now he wants to fight back, thinking he's the MC who can one-hit everything. He falls and accidentally kills the Minotaur. Yifen goes back to the real world and wakes up in the middle of the street. Although he thinks it was all a dream, he sees Jerome, a divine beast that protects the formation. He takes the beast home but does not believe that Jerome is a divine beast. Jerome reveals that he gave Yifen the sword Excalibur and explains that Yifen is the chosen one. He can see monsters that escape into a new world through the rift, and must defeat the beasts that come through the rift as he possesses so much power. Yifen receives a set of rules from the Thousand Mile Voicer app without knowing it. Elsewhere, Hang finds out that an unknown newbie, Yifen has killed the Minotaur. The hunter world goes into a frenzy trying to find out who is the chosen one. Under the alias of Knight Sword, Yifen starts gathering unwanted attention from his fellow hunters and the world because of his strange behavior toward his new life. The officials decide to put Yifen in an asylum because of his erratic attitude. All hunters receive an instruction to arrest Yifen for violating the rules, thereby revealing Yifen's identity as Knight Sword. Yifen is summoned to the council for a rule violation. However, he isn't punished after they realize he did not know about the new app on his phone. While checking his data, the council does not believe that Jerome is a divine beast and mocks Yifen. After the trial, Yifen explores the southern continent, which is part of the four continents of the three worlds. Yifen goes to the skeleton genie shop and he attracts the attention of three hunters due to his carefree attitude. One of the hunters insists that Yifen cannot be compared to the skeleton genie, as she is far greater than him. One of the hunters takes Yifen to test his prophetic jade in the trial of Swirling Falcon. Susie reveals that not every chosen one can complete the trial. Those that do complete it has their prophetic jade evaluated through a shining light. Gold means you are the strongest, white means weak, and only Skeleton Genie has been able to achieve the gold achievement. Yifen tries to run away, but Joe claims he is too scared to attempt the trial. Yifen jumps in and fails comically unable to even get into the trials, and the hunters look disappointed. However, to everyone's surprise, Yifen successfully cracks the stone with Excalibur's power. Director Zane arrives and Yifen drops Excalibur out of fear. Zane reveals that no one has ever cracked the stone, and Yifen will be a great warrior. While they talk, a dark shadow crawls into Excalibur and Yifen picks it up, oblivious to what happened. Zane then gives him a mission to solve the mystery of the explosion at the excavation site. Yifen discovers that a special sword is missing. He believes the sword is the cause of the explosion, but Jerome thinks he is clueless. Meanwhile, Hang's brother reassembles the missing sword and activates his power, creating a rift in the real world. Shortly after, a giant crustacean attacks Yifen, but cuts some of the beast's members, causing the latter to retreat. Yifen chases after him, but he is knocked down while Excalibur breaks in half. Yifen is about to be killed, but he is saved by Skeleton Genie. After the battle, Jerome is angry because Yifen is weak. He chose Yifen as he is a formation spirit, and even plotted against him. Due to his near-death experience, Yifen decides to quit, but he has a change of heart after seeing Excalibur has been fixed by a green light. Jerome is surprised and tries to figure out the source of the green light, as only someone with great power can restore Excalibur. Elsewhere, Hang figures out that the ancient sword with the green light was responsible for opening the rift and also caused the explosion. He decides to look for the sword and uncover the secret of the ancient city of Camber. Yifen is dumb enough to believe Excalibur is fixed because he is the chosen one, so he decides to become a hunter once more. Yifen also thinks he has hunters guarding and watching over him as he is the savior of the three words. Jerome on the other side is still trying to deduce the mystery behind the green light. The next day, Hang finds out that his brother is responsible for the explosion after experiment. Shockingly to everyone, there's a message claiming that Genie, a lone wolf, has completed a mission with Yifen. Hang moves into Yifen's building to continue his investigation, 
but it turns away after Jerome's feces hit Hang in the face. Hang wants to know Yiffen better as he believes Yiffen possesses great power. He wants them to hunt Demon Wind together. Although Jerome finds it weird that someone like Hang would live in a building like this, Yiffen dismisses his claims. Yiffen visits Hang and apologizes for the incident earlier on. He remembers Hang as the warrior that saved him from the Minotaur. Hang reveals that when a Demon Wind dies, he releases a core stone that holds great power. He gives Yiffen the core stone recovered after defeating the Minotaur. But Yiffen chooses to share the stone instead, as they both defeated the monster. Yiffen goes back to the southern continent, and everyone is shocked to know that Hang and Yiffen are friends. Yiffen tries to sell the stone, but he almost scams himself, though Hang stops him. While they eat, Yiffen gets angry after a customer harasses the shop owner. He demands the customer's apology as all beings are equal. Inspired by Yiffen's actions, Hang decides to launch an organization to fight hunger. Jerome doubts Hang's intention as he believes no one can stand Yiffen for a whole day. But Yiffen doesn't listen to him. Not long after, a powerful rift surfaces and reveals a four-star demon wind. Hang and Yiffen head on and prepare to fight the demon. The demon spirit attacks them, trapping them in a tornado. Yiffen uses Jerome to attack the demon, which frees them from the tornado. Yiffen wants to attack irrationally after Jerome collapses, but Hang stops him and comes up with a good plan to defeat the demon. They attack the demon simultaneously, but the creature goes underground. Hang tells Yiffen to be careful as the demon can strike anytime. The demon attacks Hang, who counterattacks, almost hitting Yiffen with his power. Yiffen disregards Hang's plan and mocks him for being weak, claiming he is stronger than Hang. Yiffen defeats the demon and Hang decides to make him his teammate. Hang demonstrates his destructive power, completely decimating the demon. Soon after, Yiffen starts practicing his sword skills after Hang gives him the Book of Astoria. Jerome tries to discourage him by playing on his ego. The hunter world is shocked after receiving news that Yiffen is Hang's new teammate despite Hang rejecting to partner up with almost 1,000 hunters. After Yiffen receives a query from his editor, he starts making comic books based on his interactions with the Demon Wind and Hang. The comic book became an instant success. The editor asks for another book, and Yiffen decides to write on Skeleton Genie, whose real name is Kin Mo. One day, on his way to deliver food, Yiffen hears a girl scream for help and decides to help. He attacks Kin's co-star as it turns out to be just a movie scene and Yiffen gets into trouble. Kin and Yiffen share a meal, but they are interrupted by a hunter who accuses Yiffen of stealing his girl. While they talk, Jerome reveals that it is almost time for the sacrifice and another rift appears. A five-star volcanic demon wind comes through the rift. As usual, Yiffen recklessly attacks it just to get easily beaten. As the demon moves to kill Yiffen, Jerome rejoices and says the seal is going to be repaired. Suddenly, Kin as skeleton genie begins to fight the demon, foiling Jerome's plans. Despite using his strongest attack, the demon is unfazed. Yiffen's sword starts glowing green and it attacks Kin, forcing her to imprison him while she fights the demon. She activates the Order of Yama and destroys the demon. However, the stone core does not appear. After the battle, Yiffen finds out that Kin is the skeleton genie. He asks her to be his teammate, but she refuses his request. She calls him a dog and Yiffen decides to ask Hang for help. Together, they find out Zin's schedule and try to persuade her into being his teammate. During an interview with Kin, Yiffen brings her flowers, but he gets thrown out of the building before he gets a chance to talk to her. However, he remembers Hang's advice not to give up and continues to stalk her, trying to get her attention. He follows her to an orphanage home, where she interacts with kids and they have fun. The children ask her to sing and they quickly realize that she is terrible at singing. Yiffen approaches again, informing her that he knows what it feels like to be alone, and asks her to join his team. Immediately after, a kid informs Kin that one of the kids is injured and Yiffen helps out. She tells him that she will never be his teammate and she drives away. Despite the multiple rejections, Yiffen continues chasing her on his bike and ends up crashing into her. Elsewhere, Hang's brother sees a picture of Kin and Yiffen and requests someone to deal with Yiffen. Later at night, Yiffen receives a call, reminding him of his fine for breaking the rules and also of his debt to Kin. Then he gets a call from his editor, who accuses him of plagiarism. He becomes confused and tries to explain himself, but he is interrupted by a rift. He struggles to decide between fighting the demon or meeting his editor, who is about to have him evicted. After pondering on it, he decides to stay and fight the five-star demon wind. Yiffen protects Tiger Head from the demon and tells him to run away. However, Tiger Head decides to stay and fight. He saves Yiffen but runs away eventually when the demon comes charging him. 
Yiffen faces the demon head-on but struggles to defeat the monster. He asks the tiger head for help and he reluctantly charges at the demon, but his attack has no effect on the monster. Yiffen starts destroying the monster, however, the demon keeps coming back bigger each time. Elsewhere, Hang discovers that the demon is hiding his real body. Since the demon's Naumanen is alive, the beast will keep coming back. Hang also confesses that he cannot fight the war against the demon winds alone and he needs an ally. His butler reassures him that Yiffen will come back to him as he has already purchased his apartment. All hunters are summoned to help Yiffen in battle, while a mysterious man looks on. Yiffen retreats with Tiger Head, but he is cornered by the demon wind, which is now a giant. The demon is about to kill Tiger Head, but he is rescued by Kin and Hang. Despite being injured and beaten by the demon, Yiffen refuses to give up. He unleashes the full power of the sword and burns down the demon. Afterward, he runs back home, thinking he will have been evicted. Suddenly, he receives a call from his landlord, informing him that his rent has been paid. Soon after, his editor calls and apologizes for accusing him of plagiarism. Yiffen believes that Kin will become his teammate after finding out that he vanquished the demon in one swing. He checks his messages and finds out that he is the ranked 49th hunter in all of the four zones because he killed a five-star demon. He also discovers that Kin is ranked 10th in all zones. After witnessing Yiffen's battle, Hang instructs his butler not to interfere, or force Yiffen to join them. Late at night, Hang's brother infiltrates Yiffen's house and steals Excalibur. The next day, Tiger advises Yiffen to be careful of his sword as it is possessed by spirits. Yiffen being a natural idiot doesn't pay attention to his warning. Tiger Head finally agrees to meet Yiffen in the real world after denying his requests multiple times. They meet Mingshan Park and discover that Tiger Head is a cute little girl, not a boy as he initially thought. Tiger Head, whose real name is Maya tells Yiffen that she lost her spiritual pet, Blue, which she has not been able to locate him ever since. She also reveals that she got Blue on the day of the explosion. Yiffen informs her that he found Jerome on the same day. Meanwhile, Hang's brother conducts experiments on Excalibur, but it backfires and explodes his lab. While Maya and Yiffen speak, they hear the lab explode and a black demon breaks out of the sword. Yiffen prepares to fight the demon and finally realizes that his sword is missing. He runs away from the monster with Maya, but he finds his sword on the ground and decides to attack the demon. However, he is unable to move, prompting the demon to take his sword and knock him out with it. After seeing Yiffen unconscious, our cute girl gets angry. She unleashes her power to defeat the demon with ease. The demon retreats, while Maya's pet, Blue, escapes from the demon and reunites with her. Shortly after, Hang tells his brother that Yiffen's sword is the new host of the Ancient Sword of Green, and the Ancient Sword of Green summoned the Black Demon. The next morning, Yiffen has a nightmare about his father leaving and almost jumps out the window. Our cutie Maya stops him. However, he reveals that he is on the ground floor. She takes him to a mental hospital for trying to commit suicide and he is tied down to the bed. He meets the doctor in charge of his case, Yikai. Maya reveals that Yiffen has been making searches on the internet about suicides. He tells him that he has been ingesting the five dragon pill, and if he takes too much, he will die. Elsewhere, Blue and Jerome are sick from the effects of the pills. He requests to allow her to join his team, but Yiffen rejects her. He receives Yiffen's test results and finds out he has the brain function of an 80-year-old man. Despite being a 20-year-old, he informs Maya that Yiffen has less than one month to live. Maya is heartbroken after hearing the news and believes that is why he wanted to commit suicide. Believing he is about to die, Maya tries to fulfill his last wishes. She sends Kin a message, begging her to join Yiffen's team, but Kin does not believe Yiffen will die. Yiffen gets discharged and goes back home and everyone gathers around, trying to pay their respects. However, Yiffen remains clueless about why they are all here. Kin confesses that she is here only because Yiffen is about to die after using too much power against the five-star demon. At first, his reaction is WTF, but then he notices everyone's expressions and leaves. And Maya and Kin interrogate Yi trying to find out the truth. At home, Yiffen cries about his fate, but Jerome laughs at him, revealing that it is almost time. 